Hi, I'm Rick Dior, and welcome to page 15 of my Nard playthrough series. So today, we're going to play uh, three uh, the two solos on this page, the Double Rademacue and Pike's Peak. This first one, the Double Rademacue, has a tempo marking of quarter note equals 110. That's not to be confused with dotted quarter note equals 110. That would make playing this pretty much impossible, and it would sound bad if you could ever get it that fast. So what you do, and I've said this in an earlier solo where we had the same issue, is you're gonna multiply that quarter note uh, that equals 110 by two, and that gives us 220, and that's the eighth note. So that's the tempo that's written. You divide that by three, and you get 73.33333, 10 times. So basically 74 or 73 is the tempo it's written at as the dotted quarter note. Now right there I played it as dotted quarter note equals 82, a little bit faster. So we'll play it now for you at dotted quarter note equals 74. This is the basically the written tempo. And um, I'm going to put a triplet subdivision on so you can hear that. One, two, three, four, five. Now, a few things you might want to notice of how I play these, and you don't have to play them just like I play them, but I have a certain way I like to play these things. Some of my rolls will have a little bit of an accent on them. Again, I like it. It makes it a little bit more funky. And also, those random cues, they're kind of squeezed in there, so there's not a lot of space. What I don't like to hear is this. So if you're doing that, don't, <laughs> please. It needs to be relaxed. There shouldn't be a lot of space, and the drags should be very, very quiet like this. So it should have swing to it. It should feel good. It should, um, you know, groove. The swing part is very, very important. So if you put spaces in there, you lose continuity, all right, and you lose your flow. And flow is a good word. You want all these things to flow together uh, and feel good when you hear them. It should make you want to dance, sort of. All right. Uh, the next one is called Pike's Peak, and this one's really straight ahead. We'll do this at quarter note equals 120. One, two, one, two. Once again, you hear those random cues now done in 2-4, not 6-8, and how I'm, you know, playing them without any break and putting the drags in there quietly. So we'll play this one slowly for you now at quarter note equals 100. One, two, one, two.
Now you might notice once again that I do add some accents. Some of these, you know, solos are written without accents or missing accents, I think anyway. Uh, remember, this book is full of solos written by different authors, and some of them are very detailed. Others leave out certain things that, um, you know, you might or they might take for granted, like certain accents. So you hear me there playing some accents just to spice it up and make it feel good. So I hope you enjoyed that page 15, and we'll see you soon with page 16.